to Bank of America, you can be whatever you want to be. I want to be a chef, boss. Can you make me a chef? I want to be a photographer at Bank of America. Be whatever you want. I want to be C. I want to be CEO. That's what I want, Bill. Get me in there quick. Well, Pete, I think you've got something there. I'm going to, I'm going to see what I can do because I like your attitude, brother. So we can make you CEO soon. Hey there, everybody. PT Pop here with all four lobes of my brain securely bound behind my back. And today I'm going to be analyzing a Bank of America recruitment video. <clears throat> and this video is Bank of America campus recruiting culture overview. It's very exciting. Before I get to that, let me just do some real quick shameless self-promotion. I have a podcast called PT Pop a Mind Revolution. <clears throat> and I've had this podcast for a couple of years. And it was primarily a podcast. It was kind of about conspiracy theories. And I'm going to be wrapping up the conspiracy theories and trying to steer it more towards art. I had steered away towards art with my friend Rusty. And then I steered back to the conspiracy theories. And now I'm back to the art thing. I'm kind of like a drunk driver trying to make up his mind which lane he wants to be in. And uh, I've decided to go more towards an art thing. But I, I love my podcast. I've got a new podcast studio. I'm going to be interviewing artists from the Cleveland area and from around the country, maybe even around the world, to talk about their art and their inspirations, their hopes, their dreams, their heartaches, things like that. So check that out. And uh, tonight's video is a doozy. It's a real doozy. And this one is... This is an eight-year-old video, so it's it's a promotional video that Bank of America apparently was using to recruit young people and young minds and young students and young men and women from um, all walks of life. And but it's it's the same corporate schmaltz that they all use. But it's the same corporate schmaltz that they've been you know they use for the call centers and everything else. And this is a two-minute and twenty-four-second video, and they cram as much positive, upbeat propaganda about Bank of America as they can to convince potential young recruits and candidates that Bank of America is a good place and the best place to work. It's good. It's positive. It's fun. It's a fun place to work where you have the freedom to express your opinions, network, get promoted, get supported by management, etc. And, you know, the only thing they don't have is on go boy go. Boingo Boingo says, this is a pukety puke puke. Speak to me, Oingo. And uh, <clears throat> it's it's a real, really, I mean, I don't even know how to describe this one. This one's a really, really goofy video. So I'm going to switch over to the video here. Watch out for buzzwords that they, they pepper the viewer with, such as great, fun, Free, team, family, culture, diversity, growth, grow, success, opportunity, collaborate, fast-paced environment, be whatever you want to be, hardworking individuals. And, and, and hard, when, when they say they, they're looking for hardworking individuals, they're looking for worker bees who don't complain and do what they're told, no matter how hard things get. That's the truth. Um, listen to the positive, upbeat music. It's boom, da -da -da, ba -da, happy, happy music to get the viewer in a good mood. Make them feel positive and upbeat. The cast is young, a racially diverse cast in this, a gender diverse, culturally diverse. It's aimed, this is definitely aimed at young people, college age, late teens to college age, and maybe mid-20s, um, of people of all walks of life. The basic message is that we care about all of our employees and want to make sure you succeed. You can be all that you want to be. Gee willikers, everybody. Bank of America, such a warm, fuzzy place to be. Cass is happy, upbeat, positive, and very young. So we'll start with this here. And let's go, brother. 
Bank of America Merrill Lynch is a great place to work because they really care about their people. From day one of orientation, they care. They really care, you know? It touches my heart to know that Bank of America cares about these young people. It really touches my heart. <laughs> you're brought in as the new leaders that will be in Bank of America. They take the time to educate and train. The new leaders. You're going to be the new leaders when you come to Bank of America. I can assure you, all of you young people, that when you come to work at Bank of America in your smart little outfits, professional outfits, upper management is going to look at you and go, that's the next leader of this company, buddy. That is. That's it you to make sure that you reach your full potential. I really do feel valued within this bank. Senior bankers appreciate when analysts and associates are passionate and committed. This is definitely what I wanted for my job. When they find out that I'm a new college hire, they're really excited. I love how when they bring on the American girl, because if you notice, this is a very culturally diverse video. And, and all the they've got Asian and European and Middle Eastern and all kinds of people in this. But they bring on the American girl and she's like, I love it when I work here at Bank of America. What does she say again? I don't know what she said, but she's like, uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I did that the bank is hiring new young talent. I new young talent. There's a big emphasis here of new young talent. Now look at this picture here. This this shot is to now now <clears throat> I bring up this video because when you're young and I was young once I was in my teens and I was in college and shots like this would have sent my mind into a fantasy world of working in the corporate world. I mean like a big oak table with leather chairs and a big screen with people looking important. Oh I can be somebody at Bank of America. This is all propaganda. This is all designed to warp the minds of some young young recruit that's sitting in a college campus somewhere that sees this and goes, you know what? Screw mom and dad and my brothers and sisters said I couldn't be somebody. I'm gonna go to Bank of America and I'm gonna I'm gonna be all I can be. This is all this is a highly polished production done by a professional production crew and staff. I don't even know if these are real, real employees because most of these people are really good looking. Men and women, they're not great looking, but but they're they're obviously um, well groomed. These are well groomed people that have been uh, taught what to uh, told what to say, how to act, how to look at the camera, how to read a teleprompter. They're all reading teleprompters. Um, so we'll go, we'll go on with that. See a culture here that is nurturing and they believe in who they hire. You can just go to anyone, ask them a question, and they will be able to respond to you because they are always willing to help you out. But All right, so they make it sound like you can go to anyone in the corporation when you work at a Bank of America and tell them anything that you want to tell them. Okay, so I know from working in the corporate world, you can go and talk to people, but you have to be very careful who you choose to talk to and what you say to them and how you say it. If you have a beef with a company, let's say you don't like working at Bank of America and you walk into your boss's bosses, you don't like your boss. Let's say your boss is an asshole and you don't like him or her. You decide to go above her, his or her head and talk to their boss about it. You're gonna, you're done. Your career is done. And if you go to HR, your your career is done. They'll find ways to get rid of you really, really fast. So this is possible. They they could have an open door policy, but a lot of companies say they have an open door policy, but that doesn't mean you should take advantage of it. And my advice to you is to keep your mouth shut. If you want to go anywhere in a company, you have to keep your mouth shut. You cannot complain. You really can't. And, and I, I would advise highly not to take the advice of these people here. I really like about the company is the friendliness of the people that I work with uh, on an everyday basis. You can talk to your boss's boss and have a great conversation. We feel very free to give our own opinions. 
is it just me or are all these people, they look like they're 12 years old. Now, you'll find this as you get older, that young people will look younger and younger. This is what I've discovered. But these people look really young. And they're saying here, you can talk to people, they're friendly, you can speak your mind. You do not do this in a corporation. You do not speak your mind in a corporation. You have to believe me on this one. Do not speak your mind. This is total, unadulterated bullshit is what this is. But everybody here, so they, they have gone out and selected. They've either gone out to a college campus and say, hey, do you want to be in a promotional video for Bank of America? These all look like at least at the very oldest, they're freshmen or sophomores in college. These are extremely young people that don't know banking from their backsides, but they look good on camera. I, I don't know how else to put it. When we help each other out, we do better together. We work as a team, we learn as a team, and together as a team, we come up with the best possible solutions. They're pushing, pushing the team, team thing team again. again. The team. team. You must be part of a team. And so when, when they talk about team, teamwork, I've worked in companies where they emphasize teamwork. And if, you're, if you've played athletics, you know how hard it is for everybody to gel on a team. But athletics are different because you, you, see, you see the results of playing together on a field, chasing a ball around, you know. You, you see the immediate results. When you're in a call center especially, they they talking about teamwork, like we're all part of this team. But there's no way to see the results of what the team is doing until you have your, your performance review or the team has their performance review with the manager. But in a corporation, it's almost impossible to have pure teamwork that they are selling these young kids because of the egos involved. There are massive, massive, massive egos in the upper echelons of banking and in the finance, world of finance. So you, you've got people, I can tell you this right now, I can almost guarantee it, that the people at the top of Bank of America did not go to Ohio State or, or Bowling Green or Eastern Michigan. Let, let's see where they went. Okay, so so let's start with let's start with Brian Moynihan. That name sounds familiar to me. He's probably been in the news for something. He's chair of the board and chief executive officer of Bank of America. Now let's see what his background is here. Let's let's blow Brian up. Uh, let's see here. Well, let, let's look him up on LinkedIn. Uh, there's got to be, it doesn't say what he does there, though. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong here. It looks like, okay, so this this is Raul, Raul, Raul Anaya. He's president of business banking, president of greater Los Angeles uh, market. Says down here, he's he has got his bachelor's of business administration and finance from the University of Texas at Brownsville. So maybe I'm wrong. But I noticed that when they, they showed the CEO, dude, Mr. Uh, Moynihan. It doesn't say where he went to school. I don't think. Let's check out some of the other people, see where they went. Dean Athanasia, Anath president of regional banking.
He's got a master's degree in business administration from the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania and graduated from Yale. He's a Yale man, lovey. He's from Yale, I told you. It's an Ivy League school, I think Yale is. My God, he's an active in the community, serving as chairman of the board of Cradles to Crayons. Oh, he's such a good man. Cradles to Crayons, everybody, look out. He's a good man. He loves children. A nonprofit organization that provides essential items, okay, so on and so forth. Let's just look at let's look at this woman. They gotta throw a woman in here too. So they've got their 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 top of their executive line is all um what they're white, Hispanic. I don't know what Anastasia is. And Anastasia. <laughs> um Catherine Bess Bressent, vice chair. She's Serves on board of directors of Zurich Insurance Group. Serves as chair of the U.S. Field Hockey Board of Directors. Yay! Uh, Ross School of Business. She sum submitted, summited Africa's Mount Kilimanjaro, the world's tallest. Who cares? She studied photojournalism in Cuba. So hey, maybe this maybe this bank isn't full of it. Maybe you know they got a photojournalist and a guy that. Um, Went to some school in Texas. Uh, I maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe this is a needle tuffo place to work. Needle tuffo, Bobby. Needle tuffo, huh? I was actually amazed by the diversity we have in the bank. People from many different cultures. Germany, South Africa, Netherlands, the States, all over the world. And I think that's a great opportunity that's hard to find anywhere else. I think there's a rich networking culture at Bank of America. I would also describe it as being connected. We have our slogan, the power of connections. And it's actually true. So the networking thing I don't know. A rich networking atmosphere, they say, being connected is a nice idea. And I have never seen it in, 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 a, in one company. But I will say this. If you do work in one industry for an extended amount of time, like I worked in telecommunications here in Cleveland for about 15 years. And during my time there, we all knew each other. Everybody knew each other. And if I, I got I got laid off from one place, somebody I'd call somebody up and they say, "Hey, yeah, uh, come on in for an interview. We'll get you into here." And that would ha that happened to me. So networking, if you can play the game and keep your mouth shut, and be a good boy or girl and play play the game they want you to play, you're you're good. But yeah, I have seen that there is there is good potential for networking, especially in the banking financial community. I was in telecom. I would try to network with people. And this is what I I found as I get older. My A lot of the people that I used to have as references have passed away. As you get older, people drop dead. <laughs> it's part of life. And I've had two, two of my best references are dead, two of my managers. And it's, you know, what do I do? You know, I can't I can't use them anymore. And there's no telephone at the, you know, at the cemetery. So um, networking is vital if you're young. Learn to network and learn to, you know, Play the game as best you can. The culture is very collaborative. It's like being a part of a family. Everybody cares about your success and well-being and wants you to grow. I don't know. I'd like to think the Bank of America is this great place where, where everybody cares about your success and well-being. But there's a better chance than not that they don't give a shit. As I said, there's egos. There's major egos in the world of finance. They talk a good game, but I seriously doubt if they have people sitting in positions of authority going, you know what? That Bill over there, he's doing a good job. Hey, hey, let's call up uh let's call up the head of finance so we can get him a job over there in, in the uh accounting department. Shall we do that? Yeah, let's do that. He's he's really worked his ass off. That's that's all Hollywood, man. I I you know, it it, it isn't and isn't. It, like I said, if you know how to play the game and you know how to schmooze and you know how to talk and you know how not to talk, you know how to say things without saying anything, and you you do a good job and you're focused and you have a great memory, you're you're pretty much in his flynn. You're good. But if if you're you're flippity gibbets and you're schizo and you're you have a lot of issues and you're constantly getting in arguments with people at work, 
you'll never make it. You'll never make it beyond a certain level. But that's just me. Who knows? And we shall proceed. And that's what makes this place unique. The fact that you can come from a different place, you can think differently, and you add value that way. So I do feel that this organization is a great place if you are looking for people that you can see her reading the teleprompter here. Watch her eyes, she's, re she's reading a teleprompter. For people that love to work in a fast, great place, if you are looking for people that love to work in a fast-paced environment, want to be extremely collaborative, and are looking for... Work in a fast-paced environment means you'll be working your fucking ass off, is what it means. You're just gonna be work, you'll be worked to your fingers bleed. That's code for it's, it's a tough job. In a collaborative environment, it means you've got to get along. You've got to get along, like I said. It, and th what they're pushing here in this in this video is Bank of America is a place where people of all walks of life can 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 uh, work. Apparently, their upper upper executives have come from a variety of educational backgrounds. I was wrong about that. Ivy League to the standard state school. They've got people that are self made people, but you need to learn how to work as a team. Hardworking individuals to partner with them each and every day. You really have an opportunity to do and be whatever you want to be. You can be, at Bank of America, you can be whatever you want to be. I want to be a chef, boss. Can you make me a chef? I want to be a photographer at Bank of America. Be whatever you want. I want to be C. I want to be CEO. That's what I want, Bill. Get me in there quick. Well, Pete, I think you've got something there. I'm going to, I'm going to see what I can do because I like your attitude, brother. See so we can make you CEO soon. You know these guys that become CEO and become the upper echelon. They have a certain panache. A certain charisma, and I'm not talking about looks. I'm not talking about stuff like that. I'm talking about there's this unspoken qualities these people have. They're able to handle pressure. They're able to get things done without getting upset. They know who to talk to and who not to talk to. There's a whole strategy to playing the the let's get promoted to Bank America thing. And this is at any corporation. You have to have a certain a certain something, man. And um I don't know if you can be all you can be at a Bank of America. I, I guess that's what they what they're alluding to. I don't know. I guess you know I wanted to, to bring this up because videos like this are propaganda and they're in, in many ways a lie. The world of finance is a very cutthroat industry to be in. It doesn't matter what level of finance you're in. I mean, down to the lowly teller, at, at, you know, at the corner of Fifth and you know State Street in some city, up to the CEO. And, and because everybody gets into bank and they think, oh, I'm going to make lots of money. I'm going to be wealthy. I'm going to become somebody. It could be that way at Bank of America. You could very well get in there and just, you know become the next whatever, the next financial guru uh, that everybody is dying to have. But it's very few and far between that people get promoted, how they want to be promoted and when they want to be promoted. Most people want things that they'll never have and doesn't come as quick as you'd want it to, to unless you really have some something, like I said, some qualities that they're really looking for that, that really would help further the commitment and the vision of the company. But most of these, this video was designed and sculpted towards young minds, young people. And what angers me about it is that young people are very impressionable and they're very naive. I was once. And, you know, you think whatever an adult tells you is the truth, especially young men and, and women who want to be in the service in the military. They have recruiters come to their high schools and tell them, you know, you can be all you want to be. You can be a nuclear, you know, a nuclear chemist on a submarine or whatever. You know, I'm making that. I don't know if there is such a thing as a nuclear chemist, but and young people eat it up and, and young people see these videos and go, oh man, I got to work at Bank of America. Gee, Willikers. 
And I guarantee you that from my experience, I didn't have the corporate attitude. And uh, I wasn't friendly enough. I'm not, you know, I'm not a talkative person at work. I just like, you know, give me my stack of papers to process. I process them and I go home at the end of the day. I don't want to go out for beers with Bill and Joe and Jeff and Gary and Sally and sit there and watch them get shit faced and crawl into their cars and go home and hopefully make it home alive. I don't care. I don't never liked any of that stuff. And I wasn't somebody that really was good with small talk and all. And, and plus, when I got in the corporate world, I was 22. I was a kid. I didn't know my ass. I still don't know my ass from hole in the ground. And um, these videos are highly polished, highly produced uh, by a whole production staff with cinematographers and directors and producers and budgets the budgets all it's probably an in-house group that does it through bank of america and it's all designed to get people, young people to come work there and and they probably figure they'll they'll weed out the weak ones you know the ones like me and he's not that good he sits there and broods at his desk because uh, somebody didn't give him his promotion you know that happens you get overlooked you get stepped over or you get over overstepped or stepped over for a promotion or whatever it's called I went to a high university, home of the Bobcats and the Alcoholics. Thank you. So there you have it. That is Bank of America campus recruiting culture overview. Um, stay tuned. There'll be more videos coming up. I'll talk to you later. Avi Design. Bye.